Regarding the war, what we must first stress is that hundreds of thousands of people have already died. So that before any kind of political think tank, let it be made clear. Hundreds of thousands of both opposing nations' sons have already died. We are talking about hundreds of thousands of orphans, widows, parents who lost their sons or daughters. Terrible things are happening. And the most important thing is that we must stop this. But in such a way, it cannot stop as the international liberal community that actually wants to continue the war suggests. Let us have a peace plan first and after, we will stop the war. This is not the case. First, we must have a ceasefire. If we have a ceasefire, we can buy time to create a peace plan. And after this is possible, with the help of a peace plan, we can establish a longer stable era. So, first, what we need is an immediate unconditional ceasefire as soon as possible. The war is being waged by the West according to such a strategy that the Ukrainians fight and die. And for this, we give the money, the information, and the weapons. And we think that with this combination we do not participate directly in the war. But we give the money, the information, and the weapons. And the Ukrainians give their blood and their lives. And, all together, this will be able to defeat Russia. This is the core of the strategy. And from what has turned out of the past more than one year, that it is not true. So, with this strategy, the Russians cannot be defeated. Maybe with another strategy, it is possible. I have my doubts about it. But we should never rule this out, because it would not be a sensible thing. But we can be quite sure that this strategy does not lead us to any victory, but will result in the continuation of the massacre. Either peace must be made immediately or a new strategy is needed. But there is no new strategy. The reason is probably because the core of any new strategy would be that. Because of the Ukrainian casualties, they have a soldier shortage. So, we should send soldiers. However, nobody wants this. Or, at least at the moment yet, nobody wants this. Or those who want this are afraid to admit it. So, here we are. And time passes and 400, 500, 600, 800 people die every day. Today, tomorrow, the day after tomorrow too and so on. So, in my opinion, this is such a strategic mistake, a planning mistake. A military, planning, political strategic mistake of the United States and the European Union, for which we also pay a high monetary price. But the biggest price is paid by the Ukrainians.